Yo guys, what is good? Zakaragi back at it again, and today we have a performance review for the Sabrina Ones right here. So this is a Nike ID or Nike Bayou colorway that my girlfriend made for me, just in case any of you guys are wondering. So without further ado guys, let's get straight into this review. And starting with the traction, it did need a little break in time, but before it broke in, the traction performed great, and after it broke in, it performed even better. It didn't matter if I was on a clean or dirty court, the performance was consistent all around. Obviously, on dusty courts, you will need to wipe from time to time because there are parts of the traction pattern where the herringbone is tighter, but after that, you're good to go. And I didn't take these outdoors just because this is a special colorway to me given that my girlfriend customized these, so I want to preserve these as much as possible for indoors only, but typically I don't take Nike basketball products outside just for durability issues, so if you were to take the Sabrina ones outdoors, I mean, the rubber compound does feel pretty sturdy and tough so this could be a pretty decent option for outdoors and given that this is a flat base right here it will wear out evenly which is great for all you outdoor hoopers but when it comes to the traction guys it's probably my favorite feature on the shoe or one of them at least and it's probably one of the best traction setups you can get from Nike right now. So out of all the Nike shoes that I've tested from this year so far, I'm putting these in the top three for sure because I'm having the LeBron 20 at number one and then I think these could be potentially number two. So that's saying a lot for how well these perform. Now moving on to cushioning and what I love so much about it is that despite it being a low profile setup, it still provides the right amount of impact protection combined with a amazing court feel. The React foam was comfortable to play in and the forefoot zoom unit gave some good bounce but more importantly was responsive. This is a near perfect setup catered towards guards but I really would not recommend this for bigger players that need more cushion. Or if you're the type of player that just needs more cushioning in general and you want to try out the Sabrina ones then I had highly highly recommend you guys try out using a move insole right here or whatever type of insole you want to replace the insoles in here with just to make the shoes much more comfortable. I can guarantee you if you use one of these it will do wonders for the shoe and I just realized uh, I talk about the move insoles in almost every single performance review that I do and I want to put it out there I am not sponsored by them whatsoever. They have not paid me a single dime to talk about the product so just want to let you guys know, but I highly recommend you guys try them out because they definitely do wonders. So, going back into the Sabrina ones for cushioning, I feel like this is the closest thing that Nike has put out to the Nike Kobe 5. As you can see, I have them displayed up there as far as how they feel cushioning wise. So, if you like Kobe's, then you'll definitely like the way these feel on feet. Moving along to the heel to toe transition and it felt smooth and I had no issues with it. Definitely a great aspect of the shoe. Now, the materials aren't anything special, but boy, do they get the job done. I love the way the textile material is implemented and how it's comfortable to play in, but also durable because it is sturdy, which also makes it more supportive because it gives you better containment laterally. And although it isn't breathable, the mesh on the side and the tongue of the shoe is where you're getting most of the airflow. My only nitpick with the materials is the dead space above the toe area, but that didn't affect the performance in my opinion, I just don't like the way it looks. And what I really love about the materials is how Nike didn't use any fuse material on the high wear areas. Instead, we have another layer of the textile, it seems, stitched on top of the base layer of textile, making the shoe more supportive and durable as if there was fuse material while also keeping it comfortable. Because sometimes when you have that fuse material on the high wear areas like this toe area, for example, sometimes it can feel a little bit uncomfortable to break in or sometimes if you're trying to do a hard stop and that part of the fuse material is there to sort of support your foot and that lateral containment it can feel a little bit painful so having that synthetic or textile material rather 
on the shoes just keeps it all more comfortable overall so kudos to nike for that and for the lockdown the lacing system really pushes your foot back into the heel clip and holds your foot into place and what i like most about the lacing system is how the bottom eyelets start lower on the toe box and how the last set of eyelets extend further out similar to how a running shoe is set up which really allows you to play around with the laces to make sure you get the right amount of snugness in the right areas you need them in and because of that i really felt like it added to the support of the shoe and speaking about support we're mainly getting that from the fit flat base the outrigger and heel counter other aspects of the shoe that really add to the support would have to be this TPU Nike swoosh right here. So not only does it add another layer of support that's already given to you from the heel clip, but it also provides some more containment for you on the medial side of the shoe for your heel area. So another part of the shoe would have to be this midfoot shank plate that would be right around here and it doesn't extend very far out, which I don't like because you can really just like bend the shoe a little more easily and you can actually see where the midfoot shank plate would be just based off of what part of the shoe here is flexing but I just feel like to add some more rigidity and torsional stiffness to the shoe that they could have made the shank plate a little bit longer so it could also act as somewhat of a spring plate as well giving you some more spring to your step but if Nike were to make a Sabrina 2 which I'm pretty sure they will that's what I recommend that they should do in that shoe. Now the big thing that a lot of people get confused with but the shoes is the sizing and they think that the shoe only comes in women's or grade school sizing but that isn't the case at all this shoe as stated by nike was made for everybody despite it being a woman's signature shoe so you can get your men's equivalent size in the shoes and what i'd recommend is getting whatever size you get in other nike basketball products and for those of you that aren't aware the conversion between men's to women's sizing is one and a half sizes so for example I'm a men's size 10 and I got a woman's size 11 and a half in the Sabrina ones and they fit me just like any other men's size 10 would and as far as how these fit they are snug and narrow similar to how Kobe shoes are so if you like that glove like one-to-one -one fit that a Kobe shoe offers these will give you a similar feeling but overall guys the Nike Sabrina one is definitely one of the best guard shoes on the market and one of Nike's better products out there right now now, and it's one of my go-to shoes as of right now as well not because of the colorway but because of how damn good that they perform so if you guys are on the hunt for a Kobe alternative look no further than the Nike Sabrina ones right here so comment down below and let me know what you think about these shoes and if you played in them share your experience in the comments down below now we're at that point of the video it's time for hashtag Zakuragi what you rocking so for today guys i got these bad boys so these are the nike p6000 one of the most comfortable nike lifestyle shoes that i've tried if you haven't seen the video i've done for these link will be up here but that is it for today guys i appreciate you guys for watching i'm signing out peace